So this may just stay in my possession. Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. What is up guys? Welcome back. My name is Anthony. Today is Thursday and I don't really have a lot going on today. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to make my first yard sale trip this weekend, either tomorrow or Saturday. Maybe both. I don't know. But there hasn't really been a lot in my area yet, but I was looking at Yard Sale Treasure Map earlier and Sarah was looking at Facebook Marketplace and I think that there might be a few more than usual this weekend. So I'm excited to give that a shot. But as for today, I've been doing a lot of my shipping late in the day, like closer to when the post office closes. So then when I start making a video, I don't have a lot to ship out. And the same holds true today. I have three things going out and they're all pretty simple. Let me just grab them real quick. Got two more of these engines, one of each. one of the A83s and one of the B64s. So those are going out. And then I have a Microsoft Power Supply for the Xbox 360. Now yesterday I had one of these go out too and I made a really weird mistake and I don't know why I did this. So boxed and everything ready to ship. These come out to around two pounds, maybe even a little more than two pounds. I'm not, I can't, I can't remember if, if it was a two pound rate or a three pound rate, but for some reason I boxed it and I didn't put it in a padded flat rate. So I'm not going to show you me packaging these up because I did a few of those the other day. So, but I'll go ahead and get these packaged and then I'm going to package this in a little bubble wrap and a padded flat rate. These like the other ones went out for about 15 bucks a piece and this went out for, I think it was $18.99 plus shipping. So let me go ahead and get this done real quick. A little bubble wrap just to add a little extra protection. These are pretty sturdy. I'm not really worried about it. Go ahead and close up the ends a little bit. Other side. And that should stuff really nicely just into a padded flat rate. And that brings it down to just the standard one pound pad padded flat rate rate. Now, luckily, the one I sent yesterday, it went close, so it was still less than $9. So I didn't really lose a whole lot. I just don't know why I didn't think about this. That's, that's a rookie mistake. Right, let's see what this goes like. So that would be a two pound rate, even in a bubble mailer. So definitely saving a little bit of money by using the padded flat rate on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these rocket engines packaged up and ready to go. And then we're gonna head to the post office. And then I think I'm just gonna do a little five minute Goodwill stop because Goodwill isn't very far from the post office. So I'll run in there, see if I can find anything. I'm not holding my breath too much on that. And then when I get back, I think I'm gonna put together a couple more of those reseller box slots for the big cartel store. Cause the last one I sold pretty much sold immediately. Uh, it went out to a viewer named Chase. So thank you very much, Chase. It's already been shipped. Um, I shipped it right away. So I don't have it going out right now, but thank you so much, Chase. And I'll see if I can put one or two more together by the time this video drops. And we'll see what happens. So I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so these three right here, good to go. I'm gonna drop them off at the post office. And then, like I said, probably run into Goodwill real fast just to see if we can find anything. I'm not gonna hold my breath because I was just there last week at this same Goodwill. And hopefully the yard sales will be kind this weekend. So, but if I'm in the area, why not stop in, I guess, right? So let's go see what we can find. There's my post office. Ain't she a beaut? Okay, let me go drop these off and then we'll head on to Goodwill real quick. All right, so here we are at Goodwill. The local Goodwill. It's gonna be quick. Rather than uh, try to do a voiceover or anything, I'll, I'll probably just film the highlights or if I see anything, I'll just pull the camera out or something because I didn't even bring a backpack or anything. I'm just holding the clip. So that's what we'll do. We'll just run in here real fast and see if we can score anything in five minutes. this keyboard for $5. I think it's a USB controller or a uh, USB MIDI controller. All right, that looks like about all I'm gonna find today. So let's just go buy this keyboard and get out of here. 
Okay, so we're heading out of that Goodwill. I picked up that keyboard that you saw. It was $5 and the lease is Q49. So I'm gonna get back to the house, we'll look it up and then we'll work on some box locks. And also I need to sanitize my hands because like an idiot, I forgot my gloves, but I'm gonna sanitize my camera and my hands and we'll be fine. All right, see you guys in a few. All right, so we're back at the house. Um, like you saw, I only found one thing, but as a musician, I'm quite excited about this one thing I found. It was this Alesis Q49 MIDI controller right here. It's a USB MIDI controller, which basically means that you plug a USB cable into the back of it, and you plug it into your computer, and it can control keyboard sounds through programs like GarageBand and stuff like that. It doesn't actually have any built-in sounds itself, but it's pretty cool. And I did sterilize it and everything, and I washed my hands, and I sterilized my camera. I don't know what I was thinking about the gloves. That was crazy. That, that'll never happen again. But this was $5, as you saw, which was a great deal. I didn't even look it up. And it turns out that on eBay, it looks like it sells for between 50 and 100 used. Probably a little more on Amazon. There's none in stock right now. And locally, I think I could probably get 100 bucks, maybe a little bit more for this, because this, this kind of thing sells on Facebook Marketplace in my area quite easily. However, this is my current MIDI controller right here. And I've been looking for an upgrade because this is just a, a little dinky one from Amazon. So this may just stay in my possession. I don't know. I could make money on it if I wanted to, but for five bucks, that's a nice upgrade. 49 keys, very nice. So quite excited about that. So I would say that was a score since all I really did was run to the post office and this was just kind of a little bonus buy. So thank you, Goodwill. Okay, last thing today, I did make a couple more reseller box lots that'll go up on Big Cartel. I'll put the link down below. It's just first come, first serve, and I'll show you what's in both of them real quick. I'll go through it quickly. Like last time, they're going to be cheap. Again, this is a, a medium flat rate box, so that's $13.20 shipping. And this is a regional rate A box, so we'll probably just call this $9.99 shipping. I think that'd be about average for two pounds of weight shipped USPS. But in the first box, the one that's medium flat rate. There's some untested electronics in here, like this little Samsung tablet right here that has some sticker junk on it up there. No charger or anything, so it's untested. A bag of Pez dispensers that were in the um, Cincinnati Picker storage unit. A Uniross multi-battery charger. A Kespin Garger ID stamp, brand new sealed in the package. A Sony CyberShot digital camera model. Let's see what the model is. Can't even see it. DSC H70. So there's no charge or anything. A couple little scratches in the screen, but overall not bad. Untested, of course. A Wheel of Fortune, I think it's complete in box Nintendo game. Yep, there's an instruction booklet. Original Nintendo cartridge. A Jeopardy uh, regular NES Nintendo cartridge. Cartridge only, no instructions or anything. A Texas Instrument TI-1250 calculator. Untested, no idea if it works. It's just been sitting around for a long time. I don't know if it takes batteries or what. But it's got the box and everything. Keypad goes right there. So yeah, uh, maybe it takes batteries. But it's got the instructions and stuff, so that's part of it. Yeah, an Apple iPad camera connection kit right there. A Devo Freedom of Choice 8-track. I'm, I'm pretty sure this 8-track sells for maybe 15 or 20 bucks used. I mean, obviously used on eBay. Uh, the label is in pretty bad condition, and I don't necessarily have an 8-track player to test it with. And last thing is this old BIB Video File Edition uh, Video Recorder Maintenance Kit. Looks like it's brand new in the package. I'm not sure. It's all taped up and everything, but that's part of it too. So all this stuff right here... We'll do a $10 box lot again. So $10 plus the $13.20 shipping. So if these things end up working, I mean, obviously you would make money on it, but I think I think with everything here, that's a, a decently fair price. So that's the first one. We'll call that lot 1B. And the second lot is a box of remotes. Let's see how many we have. There's a pile, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So 16 untested remotes. Uh, I took all the batteries out. All the battery compartments look good, but I did not test any of them. These are just ones that have been sitting around. And like I said, I'm just grabbing stuff and throwing it in boxes right now. So we'll call this one eight bucks plus shipping. So no, no, we'll call it five bucks plus shipping. So that it's so even with shipping, it's less than a dollar per remote. Okay, sounds good. 10 plus shipping, five plus shipping. So I guess this would be 23.20, and this would be. 15 or 14.99 shipped cool sounds good all right guys that's what i got for you today not a whole lot going on but wish me luck at yard sales this weekend i don't know if it'll be tomorrow or saturday but hopefully i can bring you some sweet 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 yard sale action via youtube video so as always thank you for watching this video but until next time stay safe stay healthy love ya bye when they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap